Now, Taiwan has refused to be intimidated by China's aggressive posturing in the South China Sea. Taiwan's military says that it reserves the right to self-defense and counter-attack, a clear message to China's People's Liberation Army. In recent weeks, there has been an uptick in Chinese military activity in the region. Multiple PLA jets crossed into Taiwan's air defense identification zone. They were repelled by Taiwanese fighter planes. The PLA flight Near, nearly 40 so, uh, sorties featuring anti-submarine warplanes, multi-role fighter jets and bombers. Taiwan has described these military drills as harassments. The country says it has clearly defined procedures to respond to Chinese aggression. Taiwan's president said that China is threat to the regional peace. Beijing has rejected such allegations. Since China does not recognize Taiwan's sovereignty, it says there has been no airspace violation in the South China Sea. With the United States in its corner, Taiwan has become more critical of Beijing. Just last week, the U.S. Undersecretary for Economic Affairs visited Taiwan, the second high-profile visit in as many months. China is clearly irked by the growing U.S.-Taiwan ties. Beijing has asked U.S. to respect the One China policy and stop interfering in what it describes as internal affairs. China urges the U.S. to redress its mistake, strictly abide by the commitments made in the three U.S.-China joint communiques, stop any official visits and military relations between the U.S. and Taiwan, stop interfering in China's internal affairs, stop its words and actions that damage China-U.S. relations and the peace and stability of the Taiwan Strait.